Hey everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister from thetwistersister.com and it's Tuesday, so that means it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday. Okay guys, so this week I thought it would be fun to show you how to make a gator. You can decide whether it's an alligator or a crocodile, but here's our little gator guy. He's pretty cute. This is great for birthday parties. So it's going to take three green balloons and one white balloon. These are all 260s and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first I'm going to start with one of my green 260s here and I'm using my Qualitex hand pump and we're just going to blow this guy up about five to six pumps, leaving about a two inch tail. Let a little bit of air out to keep your balloon nice and soft and tie it off. Okay, we're gonna start with the mouth of our alligator, crocodile, gator, whatever he is. <laughs> and I'm gonna come back however long you want his mouth to be. So I'm gonna do mine about three inches, make a twist, fold it over, and make another twist the same size, and then use your nozzle to wrap around there and push it through those two loops to lock it in place. Now he has a gator mouth, okay? Now we're gonna need two pinch twists right after his mouth. So squeeze your balloon out, make it nice and soft and squishy, make a small round bubble. You're going to twist that round bubble on itself to make one pinch twist. And then do the same thing again, squeeze your balloon out, make a small round bubble, and make another pinch twist. And now you want to align everything so you've got one nice long straight line like this with your two pinch twists on the side. We've got the rest of the balloon coming out the back like that. Okay. Now we're gonna need just a small bit for his neck. So I'm gonna do maybe a one or two inch bubble like that. And then we're gonna do two more pinch twists again. So squeeze your balloon out, make a small round bubble, and make this a pinch twist. And do the same thing again. Small round bubble and pinch twist. And get the rest of your balloon coming out the back like that. And we're going to do the same thing one more time. So come down however long you want his belly or his torso to be. So I'm going to do about four or five inches. Make a twist. And now we're going to need two more pinch twists. So small round bubble, pinch twist, one more small round bubble, and pinch twist. Get the rest of your balloon coming down. And you should be fully inflated here. So this rest of the balloon is going to be his tail. Um, and if you blew it up right, you shouldn't have any extra here left at the end. If you do, just squeeze your balloon a little bit and that should shoot the air all the way down to fill up the rest of his tail. So this is what we've got for our gator so far. Now he's going to need some arms and legs. So go ahead and grab yourself another green 260. And we're going to blow this one up about four pumps. Go ahead and tie that off. And this is going to be one arm and one leg. So we're doing one side of his body and then we'll do the other side of his body with our last green 260. So to start this off, we're just going to do three small bubbles about the same size. One, two, and three. We're going to twist these last two together just like that to make a little alligator foot. Okay, now he's got really short forearms and everything. So we're just going to come up a little bit, maybe about a one inch bubble. And we're going to give him, an, this is going to be his arms. This is going to be an elbow. So now go ahead and do a small round bubble and make that a pinch twist. This is a great design to practice your pinch twist on because there's a lot of them. Okay, so we've got his front leg there. I'm going to come over about an inch. And now we're going to twist this into the body of our alligator. So we've got his mouth, two pinch twist, two pinch twist, two pinch twist. We're going to twist this foot into the second set of pinch twists here right in the middle. So you don't have to really wrap it around a lot. Just kind of slide it in underneath those pinch twists like that so it's attached. And now you're going to squeeze it a little bit, bring it down the length of his body and twist it into the pinch twist here and towards his tail. 
So we're coming down like that. Now we're going to use the rest of this to make his back leg, which is exactly like the front leg here. So come out about an inch, do a small bubble, pinch twist that to make his knee, do about another inch bubble, and then do three bubbles, small bubbles, all about the same size. Actually just do two. Sorry, that was a little confusing. So there's a one inch bubble and two round bubbles. We're gonna twist these two round bubbles together. And now the rest of this, we're going to cut it off to just leave one little small bubble for his, I don't know what that would be. It's like a big thumb. <laughs> for the last bubble in his foot. Okay, I'm gonna just arrange that so you can kind of see what's going on here. So this is what we have so far. We've got the mouth up here and two legs coming down the sides. Now we're gonna do the other side of his body with another green 260. And this one you wanna blow it up a little less because we're gonna be doing some more bubbles on this one than the one we just did. So I'm just gonna do like two and a half, maybe three pumps of air in here, leave it a nice long tail. Go ahead and tie that off. Okay, now we're gonna start this one off the same way as we did the other leg. So three small bubbles, about the same size. Twist these last two together. You're gonna come up about an inch. And he's gonna need an elbow, so we're gonna make a small round bubble and pinch twist. And we're gonna come over again about one inch. And we're gonna take this twist here, we're gonna join it in right here to these pinch twists where his other arm is. So just slide it in and bring the rest of the balloon up on top of your gator. So this is the top of him. And instead of just bringing this back and twisting it into the pinch twist here at the end, we're gonna do a string of bubbles going down his back to make it look like he's got like a spiky back. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be able to fit about four bubbles on mine. You might be able to do more or less on your gator depending how long his body is. And I'm just gonna twist it into the tail. And get the rest of my balloon coming out that last side so we can make his last foot. So, the rest of this is really simple, just like we've already done three times. <laughs> Go ahead, do about a one inch bubble, make a small round bubble, and pinch twist this guy to make his knee. You're gonna come down about an inch, and then do two round bubbles for his toes, and twist these two together. And then you've got this really long bubble back here. We only want that to be a small bubble. So just let some air out until it's about the size you want and tie it off. Okay, and then just arrange everything using these pinch twists at every intersection, I guess, <laughs> to get his uh, legs going the right way, get his tail nice and straight and then use those pinch twists for his knees and elbows to get his feet all facing the right direction. Okay, so there is our gator at this point. This also makes a pretty cool lizard. I do lizards pretty much the same way. <laughs> I just don't call them gators. Okay, so one thing that's nice on this design, if you've got some time, take each of these little tails on his feet and hide them by just pulling them out a little bit and then wrapping them down into the rest of the balloon there. Kind of making them look like a pinch twist. It just helps it look a lot cleaner when you don't have those big balloon tails hanging out at the bottom. And it helps them to stand up on a table better also when those things aren't in the way. So we've got all of our nozzles hidden. And now the last thing we need to do is give him teeth and eyes. And this is very similar to my T-Rex video, which I did not so long ago. So go ahead and grab yourself a white 260. And I'm just gonna put like two pumps of air in there. Nice long tail for you. 
Go ahead and tie that off. Grab your gaiter. Take the nozzle of your white 260 and we're gonna wrap it into these pinch twists around his mouth. And you want the balloon to be coming out one side of his mouth. And we're gonna do about three small round bubbles, as small as you can make them. The bigger they are, the funnier this kind of looks because his thinnest teeth are like sticking way out on the side of his head. <laughs> so really try to make these as small, tiny little bubbles as you can. And make sure to twist them around a good three or four times so that they don't come undone. So I've got three bubbles there. You can do four if you'd like, to, if you can fit four in there. I'm gonna do three on this one and then just roll them through his mouth. And now we're ready to do three more bubbles coming down the other side here. So really small, twist them around a lot. So I got three more small bubbles and we're just gonna bring that right back into the pinch twist at the base of his head. And now you want to use those pinch twists to help his mouth stay straight instead of coming down like T-Rex doesn't have pinch twist on the side here so it's a little different um, but we've got his white balloon coming up out of the top of his head we're going to use that to make two eyes through me stick up eyes because gators have stick up eyes kind of okay so go ahead and do about a one and a half to two inch bubble and do another bubble the exact same size and then we're gonna twist these two together down into the head. Just like that. Put them right side up for you. Okay, so now he's got his eyes and his teeth and you can get rid of the rest of this white balloon. And just secure it by wrapping it around this pinch twist a couple times to keep it from coming undone. You don't have to tie it, save your fingers a little bit there. And there is your gator, balloon gator. Pretty cool, I like this design, uh, boys love it. And you don't really have to do too much drawing on this since you put the spikes on his back, you don't. I used to do a gator, you'd have to draw crisscross all over his back and this is just, I think it's a little better. So all we need to do is put his eyes on. I'm just doing my usual eyes with angry eyebrows because it's a gator and he's angry. <laughs> All right, so that is how I make a gator balloon. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, let me know what kind of balloon animal tutorial you'd like to see next week and maybe I will choose your suggestion. Last week we did a tiger hat balloon tutorial and I wanted to show off Lynn Keller's awesome design. She attempted the tiger hat and I think she did a great job. Thank you so much for sharing with me, Lynn. Uh, if you guys want to see your pictures on one of my future videos, like if you make this gator anytime soon, just go ahead and post a picture of, on my Facebook page. The link is down below in the description. I love seeing pictures of what you guys are working on and all the things that you share with me, so keep them coming. Also, don't forget to check out thetwistersister.com if you're looking for more advanced balloon tutorials. We've got a train, a really cool, popular cartoon mouse, a Monster High doll, and also my first DVD, which is a St. Patrick's themed DVD is also available for sale at thetwistersister.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I really appreciate everything. You guys are awesome. And I will see you next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye.